Welcome back to Fathom Aquatics. Today, I want to highlight the care and growth of an Oscar fish. I'll be sharing clips of my baby Oscar growing up while I talk about some of their basic care and needs. The first and most important thing I think there is to say about an Oscar, if you're thinking about getting one, just know that they're going to outgrow most tanks that are sold at big box stores like PetSmart and Petco. It needs to be said first because Oscars can commonly be found for around $10 or so, so they're pretty affordable. They're usually under a couple months old when they're for sale, and they might be in the same tank or next to a tank with other fish that only grow to be a few inches, but they have these great color patterns and they look cool or cute to a lot of people, so it can be misleading for uninformed shoppers or parents that are letting children pick out their own fish. Most of the fish at these stores barely get bigger than a few inches, but then mixed in with them, there's an Oscar that can get over a foot long, and it's become a big problem. I know a lot of people say 55 gallon tank is big enough and it has barks for them, but it's pretty simple to me. An adult Oscar needs to be housed in a 75 gallon tank at a minimum. A standard 55 gallon tank is only 12 inches front to back, whereas a 75 gallon tank is about 19 inches front to back. And most Oscars will grow to be at least a foot, but when kept in good conditions, they can exceed that. I've personally seen Oscars over 16 inches. There's a few Oscars in the Tennessee Aquarium that are even bigger than that. These fish can be kept in smaller tanks short term, like even in my clips here, you'll be able to see my Oscar. He started his life with me in a 55 gallon tank. Once he was a few inches bigger, I moved him into a 125. And now he's in a 180 with a 55 gallon sump. It's important not to cramp them and keep the most amount of clean water around them so that they don't experience stunted growth or sicknesses. The second biggest thing I want to bring up is their diet. There's a ton of videos on Facebook and YouTube and a lot of people have seen them where people are feeding their Oscars all kinds of junk. I've seen everything from hot dogs to goldfish. I feel like life feeding has its place but it shouldn't be done with goldfish in particular. Goldfish contain an enzyme which breaks down vitamin B1 inside your fish's body. When it comes to your Oscar's health, it's honestly best to just totally avoid feeder fish altogether and just stick with a varied diet of high quality pellets that's supplemented with frozen or freeze dried snacks like bloodworms, krill, or shrimp. We all have seen the feeder goldfish tanks at the big box stores and we know what they look like, they're gross. Those fish are kept in such terrible conditions where fungal infections and parasites can easily spread, so why risk bringing that home when there's better alternatives? The next thing I want to talk about is how aggressive your Oscar could be. So they really shouldn't be with anything that they're much larger than, and they might be aggressive and they might be calm and you don't know until you get them and you mix them in with other fish. When I introduced my Oscar to my main display tank, I sat there for hours just watching for any issues and I would specifically check for any torn fins or evidence of a fight. Luckily my Oscar ended up being pretty calm and non-confrontational. I think that maybe raising it up with other fish while it was small and never feeding it life food has attributed to its calm nature, but I feel like it can be pretty random with some Oscars. Some fish just have an attitude. Sometimes when multiple Oscars are together, they will just straight up kill other Oscars, especially if there's any signs of mating. I've had my Oscar for about 6 months now, and I'm really surprised how much I've come to like this fish. They have a bad reputation, and they're very cheap and one of the most surrendered fish at pet stores next to Pleco's. I was looking for something new, and I saw many people online with a similar stocking as my tank, but they also had Oscars and it was working out. Ever since I brought him home, he has been one of the most active fish that I have and he almost always comes to the front of the glass whenever I get close to the tank. I think it's a lot of fun to feed my Oscar since it's such an aggressive eater. Sometimes it'll stick its mouth out of the water just to get the pellets in my hand. I'm a big fan of the bright red and orange colors and I'm glad I decided to try something different and pick this guy up. Here you can see at 5 weeks the Oscar is starting to really color up and get those strong oranges and the black is kind of fading away, the whites are kind of fading away and he's getting really vibrant and I try to give him a very diet uh, and a lot of protein and days like this where I, I would put bloodworms out there, there's a lot of them but he will find every single one of them and eat them.
Now we're moving on to nine weeks. Here my Oscar, this is the first clip I have of him when I moved him into the 125. So that's the, the tank with the rock background you see uh, in the background there. Um, I really started liking uh, the body shape that the Oscar started to take on. It was less like that generic small cichlid body shape and he's really starting to look like an Oscar now. His colors start getting pretty vibrant and the black on the top of his like midline is uh, starting to go away and he's becoming more of that copper red color that we like to see. Here's the Oscar when I moved him into the 180 and he's not alone in this tank. This is my monster tank with my Bashir or Bashir, however you uh, like to pronounce it. Um, I've got a couple Enlies and an Ornate in here along with my uh, massive Amazon sword and he's really gotten along with everyone. Um, I've seen them originally have a couple little nips at each other here and there, uh, maybe for territory or something, but I haven't seen them do that in a long time, and they seem to get along. And if you watch some of these clips, I don't know if it's just me, but it really looks like the Oscar just kind of swims with my large Enli here. Like right here in particular, when the Enli turns, the Oscar turns, and they seem to kind of swim together. And I think that's cool. Maybe this Oscar's got a new friend. Um, I like the way this tank is starting to turn out. And the Oscar really helps complete it. There's just a few clips left. So while those play out, I just want to say thanks for watching. And I hope you got something out of this. If you have the ability to house an Oscar fish, I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and enjoy the last few clips.